guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to be talking about the new fenty pro filter concealer here is the little guy right here i got shade 210 and i got a really good shade so definitely brightens up underneath my eyes i did go a shade lighter i'm normally 220 in foundation uh 240 is like my summer shade so i picked up 210 because i felt like it was closer to my skin tone but still a little bit lighter to give me that bright under eye without it being too too bright they do have 50 shades at sephora it's in stores right now and super easy to choose your shades if you are 240 in foundation then you are 240 in your concealer unless you like a little bit brighter like me you'll go down a shade so here is a concealer it does have this really nice doe foot wand very easy to use and it picks up a lot of product this concealer is definitely on the pigmented side so a little does go a long way it's a very creamy but blendable concealer okay guys so i do have my foundation on and i'm not wearing the fancy foundation i wanted to use another foundation i wanted to use everything else that's not fancy just to see if the products mix well together and i didn't pick up the powder even though i do want to try it out because it looks amazing like banana powder looks really good but today i'm just going to set my concealer with this lancome powder it's just a translucent powder this is the long time no shine powder so here is the little concealer it's so cute and they did say there are three different ways to apply it so if you want lighter coverage you use the tip of the wand if you want like medium coverage you use the thin side and if you want full coverage, you use the flat side and you just go in with full coverage. So of course I like full coverage. So we're gonna do full coverage and use the flat side. And this little wand right here, it's really little, but it does pick up a lot of product. And they did say that this concealer is very pigmented. So we're about to put it to the test. Let's put it on. I'm doing it all slow. <sighs> So from what I see right now, it's very creamy and it does look like it's full coverage. I'm just blending out what I have on my brush, on my wand. Just blending it out like I would with any concealer, but I like the shade. I feel like it's pretty good. I'm going to highlight the center of my face and down the bridge of my nose. And I haven't even picked up any more product. I've just been using what's on the wand. So it does pick up a lot of products. Look at that. Let's see how it blends out. I'm just blending it out with my beauty blender. And I just want to see up close how it's blending. It's blending really good. It's very creamy. It doesn't feel heavy at all. And it blended really good. I normally blend my concealer with my sponge. I don't like using a brush. But look at that. Looking forever at Sephora trying to see what shade I should get. I was in between 220, 210, and 180, but I felt like 180 was too light, even though it had a lot of yellow undertones. I felt like 280 was, I mean, 180 was too light. And then 220 looked very similar to my skin tone, so I was like, let me go with 210. I think 210 is for light medium with warm neutral undertones. And it's perfect because it's not too pink and it's not too yellow, which helps brighten up underneath the eyes. So it looks really good, you guys. It definitely blurred out my under eye. And if you guys watched my previous video, it was a foundation review. I did have like a very weird dry spot near my eyes and I don't see it. But we're going to see how it looks with a translucent powder on top i know that with the um fenty foundation the concealer and the powder it would look amazing because it just goes together so i did want to see how it works out with like a um you know higher end translucent powder and a drugstore foundation it looks really really good actually this side of the room has more light i'm still adjusting my room so you'll be able to see more on this side I'm glad I didn't get 180 because 180 would have been way too light. This is perfect. So we're going to set it real quick with this Lancome translucent powder. And it's just a very fine powder. I really like this one because I do have a drier like under eye area. And I feel like every powder just starts to cake up. But so far this one's great. I see no creasing. And I normally crease with 
concealers. I have to go in and like reblend and then apply my powder. But this one stayed smooth. I'm sure that with the Fenty powder, it looks blurred out and beautiful. And I really do want to pick up the powder. Should have picked it up, but I didn't. I just really wanted to try out the concealer. This concealer does uh, cost $26 at Sephora. But it does go a long way, so that's a good thing. So that is it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. And if you're not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe right before you leave. And give this video a thumbs up. It means a lot. And let me know if you guys picked up this concealer in stores. Or if you're going to pick it up this weekend. Just comment down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.